This is Cliff Coulter and I want to welcome you to the first of many videos on business. In this video we're going to discuss how to start a business in 2021. This process is mainly about registering for a bunch of different government agencies and creating accounts for such agencies. Imagine you're scheming for a business in 2021 uh, and you're thinking about business ideas and you're saying, oh, I've got the greatest business idea. It's going to crush all the competitors. It's going to disrupt the market. Well, where do you get started with registering for these accounts? And what you don't need to register for is the like button. That has been register free since 2021. So crush the like button right now and we'll get started with the video. The first thing before you start to do any of this registration process is a business plan and that will help you lay out registering for the different agencies but the business plan um, can be a very different plan from uh, one business to the next for example my business plan that I created um, when I first started was mo mostly a questionnaire and it was just giving me like some of the ideas that were important for when you went go in in business and when you start your business for example what your marketing is going to be what your insurances are going to be how are you going to make your uh, message clear how are you going to get to customers and get your services to customers things like that and so while you open up your business and after your business is started you'll find out that you may need to change your business plan that your business plan needs to go into to a different direction and so the business plan is very flexible and you may throw out the entire business plan right away or you may follow it pretty strictly but m for the most part it's okay to go off script and uh, change the business plan as you learn and become more of an entrepreneur. Two, research what type of business entity you want to become. The type of entity that you become is going to play a major role in the direction and the trajectory of your business. You're going to have employees and depending on what the situation is, uh, is going to depend on what type of entity you want to look at. There are some entities to avoid and the number one entity to avoid is a partnership. That's like swimming in shark infested waters um, in, in business if you're uh, in, this, in the default which is a partnership entity. So forego that entity for entities like corporations, limited liability companies. Instead, you're going to protect yourself uh, and you won't be as responsible for decisions that other people are making in your business. So registering your company with uh, the Secretary of State is the next step. So go to the Secretary of State's website. They're going to put in a placeholder for you for the name. They're going to give you a certificate of formation if your application goes through and you're, they're going to give you a UBI number. After you get the UBI number, you're going to um, you go on to step four, which is you're going to create an operating agreement. If you haven't already done so, you're going to speak to an accountant, speak to an attorney, and they're going to get you uh, more in line of what you need to do and put in your operating agreement. If you, for example, if you want to do an S corporation election, or how your profits are going to be shared, how the ownership structure is going to look. Step number five. I don't think we've gone through that yet. So you're going to need to get your EIN number. You're going to need to go to the IRS website, get your EIN number, and go in that fashion. So next step is the Department of Revenue. So once you get your EIN number and you've applied for the EIN number, which is the employer identification number, uh, if you're an LLC or a corporation, for example, you're going to apply with the Department of Revenue and set up your account there so that they can give you a, a heads up that you have these tax responsibilities. And that's the, the account that you're going to take care of those tax responsibilities. And so if you get that set up, that should come back and get set up probably within a few days by mail. It may take a couple weeks. Um, and that's the the part, but you're gonna need your UBI and your EIN to do that. And you're also gonna need your UBI and your, and your EIN. Um, and then after that, you can set up your bank accounts. So UBI, EIN, DOR, bank accounts, you're going to just go through all of these agencies and turn out on the end of it. Now that could be it for most businesses, but you may have additional steps to take and that being, you know, if you have employees, for example, if you have employees then you're going to need to set, get set up with the uh, Department of Labor and Industries. And the Department of Labor and Industries could uh, require you to have an appointment, you go to your appointment and they get you set up there. 
and they're going to get you set up um, automatically with workers' compensation, with uh, uh, unemployment insurance, and then uh, send you away, and then they'll give you more information within a couple weeks. Once that uh, goes through, you got to ask, well, do I have some type of other responsibility, some type of other requirements? It's like, am I a food handler? Do I need to get a food handler's license, or am I serving alcohol? Do I need to get a uh, alcohol um, permit? That can take a lot longer. That can take three months to get uh, set up for the alcohol um, licensing. Now, what other purposes um, are we talking about? A reseller permit is another one. So if you want to be a, a reseller, then you're going to have to go on to the Department of Revenue License, uh, Department of Revenue website, and get your reseller permit. Now you go through these types of licensing, and you still could have local licensing. Department of Health and Human Services, um, your your local office, get in contact with them, and they'll they'll let you know if you need any type of further requirements to meet in order to handle food. For example, so you're just gonna have to go through and and do some of your research and figure out what type of requirements are, are needed for you locally, and then at the the governmental agency levels, the different agencies, and figure out what you need to do. And you can be assisted by uh, an an attorney. Typically, will assist you on doing that. If you're a construction contractor, for example, you may be um, a construction contractor, and you need to get permitted for that. So you go to the department of uh, labor and industries and then they'll schedule an appointment with you and then they'll make sure you're you're good as far as on their end as for being a contractor for construction and then they'll put you on their website to publicly show that you are a contractor a construction contractor and they can get you set up and it's usually a, a same day situation for that uh, if you if you do the mail it once again it's a couple weeks down the road uh, once you meet all the requirements so you got your business plan you've, you've gone through all the agencies you've decided you meet all the requirements then you're ready to open your doors and start your business so 2021 you're open you're running and you're ready for all of the amazing opportunities there are for new businesses I can foresee a, a lot of great ways uh, to go about doing business here in 2021 that could really benefit uh, a lot of people and help a lot of people that might need it right now. We could go on deeper dives into some of these topics in other videos. Um, and let me know in the comments if you think that's a, uh, specifically what section of the video or if there's other items that weren't covered in the video that you want me to go through. I'm happy to look at those. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. See you soon.